Donald Trump has been president for eight months now, and most of his campaign promises remain undone, from repealing Obamacare to building the beautiful wall to his unrealized plan to declare coal the national fruit. <laughs> but the administration has a chance to turn things around with its next big push, tax reform, an effort that will be led by Treasury Secretary and mildly satisfied lens crafters customer Steve Mnuchin. <laughs> so, Let's get to know the man shaping Trump's tax plan in tonight's Profiles in Tremendousness. I have the most dedicated people. I have the best people. Meet Steve Mnuchin, a man who got into politics the same way Trump did, by knowing nothing about politics. Mnuchin is a former Goldman Sachs partner, movie producer, and Democratic donor. Steven Mnuchin got an invitation to Trump Tower right. to celebrate Donald Trump's uh, New York primary win. He was like, yeah, I'll step off. So he waited, and they finally saw Donald Trump, and Donald Trump kind of beckoned toward him, and he joined him for this ride up an escalator, and suddenly Steven Mnuchin was on stage with Donald Trump at the rally, and he was like, wow. And the next day, Donald Trump called him up and invited him to be his finance chairman. That makes it sound like Donald Trump has no friends. He's like the thirsty dude that you meet, you know, when you're out, that guy who's always trying to roll with you way too hard. The guy who's like, hey, man, great seeing you. Yeah, what are you doing tomorrow? Oh, you moving? Yeah, can I help you? Uh, actually, I have an extra room. Do you just want to live with me? I'm lonely, man. I'm lonely. <laughs> Come on, man, run my economy, man. I love you, man. <laughs> now, now, Mnuchin may not have a particularly impressive political resume, but you should see his IMDb page. Steve Mnuchin, who invested in hits like Avatar and How to Be Single. He has financed dozens more, including Lego Batman. And you did uh, Batman Superman, right? I did. When have you ever had a treasurer secretary of the United States of America who made a Batman movie? Wow. Wow, made a Batman movie. How many times do you think Mnuchin has to explain to Trump that he doesn't know Batman? <laughs> I get it. I get it. You're protecting his secret identity. I respect that. <laughs> Are you Batman? <laughs> no, Mr. President, I'm Mnuchin. <laughs> Am I Batman? <laughs> sure, sir, if you want to be, whatever. <laughs> now, these days, Mnuchin is less interested in producing movies and uh, more interested in producing tax cuts for the wealthy, like himself. And if you're wondering who's going to pay for those tax cuts, Mnuchin's got you. Under our growth models at the Treasury, um, this will pay for itself. And, and again, we may not get full credit for that. There may be short term impacts on the deficit, but we're, we're very, we want to be very careful in paying for this with growth. But we also need to boost the economy. We need tax cuts and tax reform now. It's a little bit, it's a little bit weird how he moves his mouth, how little he moves his mouth when he talks. Like, his teeth don't separate. <laughs> it's almost like he's the ventriloquist and the dummy at the same time. <laughs> like, what, what is going on here? That's how I speak to people. Uh, now, you might be thinking, Trevor, I recognize the name Mnuchin, but not from tax news. Well, maybe it's because last month he tried to get you to pay for his honeymoon. Newly married this past summer, multi-millionaire Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin formally requested that he and his new wife Louise be allowed to travel in style in a government jet on their honeymoon to Europe. At an estimated cost of $25,000 an hour, the price for taxpayers would have been several hundred thousand dollars. Mike Pence married them? <laughs> That's weird. Do you, Stephen, promise to never speak to another woman without your wife present? <laughs> then, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and mother. <laughs> uh, you, you, know, you know what makes this story even better? Is that just a few weeks ago, Mnuchin's wife, Louise Linton, she slammed someone on Instagram for having the nerve to even imply that the couple would make taxpayers cover their travel. She posted this photo, adding hashtags for items in her expensive designer outfit. And this response to critics had its own backlash. Do you think the U.S. government paid for our honeymoon or personal travel? LOL. Have you given more to the economy than me and my husband? 
Okay, okay that, that's not working for me. That reporter was clearly having trouble channeling the spirit of Louise Linton. Uh, luckily, The Daily Show keeps a mean girl translator on staff <laughs> just for times like this. Do you think the U.S. government paid for our honeymoon or personal travel? Mm, LOL. Have you given more to the economy than me and my husband? Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that we hired that mean girl. Yeah. I'm really glad we hired her, even if she does always make me cry about my thigh gap. But, uh... <laughs> by the way, oh, this, this real housewife meets Marie Antoinette might be new to you, but she's been on Africa's radar for a while. Last year, the memoir she wrote about her time in Zambia in the 1990s, when she was just 18, also got her in hot water. In the book titled In Congo Shadow, Linton painted herself as what critics called a white savior, when she wrote about becoming a central character in the horror story of the Congolese War. She wrote, I try to remember a smiling, gap-toothed child with HIV whose greatest joy was to sit on my lap and drink from a bottle of Coca-Cola. Guys, you may not believe this, but that kid on her lap <laughs> was me. <laughs> Wow. And by the way, I didn't have HIV. I just really wanted that Coke. <laughs> but seriously, though, these two are both so out of touch. It's, it's almost beautiful. I'm so glad that they found each other. I just wish Mnuchin hadn't also found this guy. Because if you think that these two are gonna take care of everyday Americans, I've got one word for you. LOL. <laughs> Actually, that, that didn't sound right. Mean girl? Oh, my God. Lol. <laughs> You're the best mean girl. <laughs>